Well, as you can tell, I have a power supply here, and this is an older one, but it's a little bit of an upgrade from what I have in my computer right now. Right now I have a 300 watt, and that's the max. That's the max 300 watt, and this one here is 450, so I'm going to put this one in my computer, but before I do, I need to do a little modification to the to the wire harness. This harness has pretty near everything on it that I need. The only problem is that uh, there's only one SATA connector and I have two uh, hard drives in my in my computer that requires this connector so what I was gonna do is buy an adapter but I also have this other old wire harness that came from a power supply this board right here actually that died so I'm gonna use this and this has two two SATA power connectors on it so I'm just gonna wire this into into my uh, power supply and probably more than likely I'm going to try to do it on a on a Molex connector that doesn't have too much running off of it already which looks like it might be somewhat impossible actually and just for the heck of it I want to show you guys something I've watched quite a few videos on YouTube where people splice wires together and what they do is they'll take the wire and uh, cross it like this put it on macro so you can see okay so they take the wire they cross it like that and I'm not gonna twist it but because I want to use this wire for like a demonstration but they'll twist it to make a good mechanical connection but what I like to do and I find that it it's almost as good a mechanical connection as uh, twisting them together like this but when you put your heat shrink on it makes a way nicer looking uh, wire so what I like to do is put them together like this so that your wires are kind of interlaced together and then twist them and that makes a lot nicer looking wire and it's still a good mechanical connection so then you solder that and you'd almost never know that it was underneath of that uh, piece of uh, heat shrink so but anyway that's not really what the video is about I just thought I'd show you and it takes quite a lot of pressure to pull that apart so anyway I'm gonna get started I have these prepared already I'm going to try to take the wires out of this uh, connector and uh, solder to this. If I can't solder to that, then I'll solder to a Molex. But anyway, I'm going to get started and I'm going to try to get this out and I'll come back when I'm ready to solder. Alrighty, so... Ow! That was a little easier than I thought it was going to be. So, I'll push it back in and I'll show you how you get that out of there. There's a little tab right here. And all I did was I pushed the push this uh, knife underneath that tab and just pulled it out. Easy as pie. Actually, probably easier than getting these Molex uh, wires out of there. So now just so I don't get uh, anything mixed up I'm gonna solder one at a time alrighty so I have my solder and iron and my solder and I put the connector in a pair of vice grips just lightly clamped and uh, let's see maybe I can put this board to keep it up a little bit 
So now I'm gonna solder this. I'm left-handed, so this is gonna be a little bit tricky. All right. So I'm gonna put just a dab of solder here on the very end of this connector. I can get the damn stuff to mount. So there's a little tiny dab. And here's my wire. So there's one, and I think I'll only do one on camera, because, uh, you know, I don't have to solder all four or five of them. So let's try pushing this back in and see if it actually fits again. And it does. So there we go. Oh. Let's put it on macro again so you can actually see. So, there it is. Connected. So I'll do the other four, and uh, I should have a nice uh, long wire with three uh, SATA connectors on it. So I'm going to get this done, and I'll come back and I'll show you when it's all finished. Alrighty, so at the last minute, I decided not to waste my time and uh, do that um, orange wire, so I just cut it off. And I put some hot glue around the end of the, the connector, just to be on the safe side, so that if one of these wires gets pulled, it won't come out just to make it a little bit more secure. So now I have three connectors when I originally only had one so that should work out pretty good and I'm gonna turn off the computer and put this in and just make sure it's still working. Alright, so let's unhook this beast. supply in and I did test it in another computer and it did work so hopefully it'll work on this one because the last one I tried didn't but I'm pretty sure this one should 